Angry Birds is a mobile game series created by Rovio in December 2009. The series is often regarded as being one of the most popular and iconic mobile game series of all time. That is, of course, so long as the games are still available to play, which seems to be an area that Rovio's really struggling with as of late. But that aside, Angry Birds is still a really popular IP. Having been downloaded over 4.5 billion times, it's certainly nothing to scoff at. But we're not talking about Angry Birds today, we're gonna talk about some irritating Angry Birds ripoffs. So the first game I'll be looking at is Angry Tomatoes. Now at first glance, the reviews seem to be pretty negative. However, I'll have you know that this is actually a physics-based addictive game. So first of all, the game feels strangely warped and compressed. In fact, yeah, that's better. So the first thing I noticed is that the background music is literally a 5 second clip repeating for the entire game. So yeah, I'm just gonna change that real quick. So anyways, onto the game itself. The gameplay, unsurprisingly, is basically just Angry Birds. The biggest difference being that it's really just a cheaper version of it. Basically, you're a tomato, and your primary mission is to MURDER BANANAS! Obviously, the most efficient way to do this is to throw yourself at them with a slingshot. Let's ignore the fact that tomatoes fucking explode when you throw them. Anyways, the game just feels kind of off. And it doesn't really help that the graphics just feel like an amalgamation of assets stolen from several different places. Also, why are tomatoes fighting bananas? I guess it's really no different than birds and pigs, so I'll give it a pass. Honestly, I really don't see the appeal over playing this over, I don't know, actual Angry Birds. Especially since Angry Birds is free. So while there aren't any blatant flaws with the game, there's also no reason to play it. Like seriously, even one original mechanic goes a long way. Like at this point, there isn't even anything to talk about, it's just, well, an Angry Birds ripoff. So anyways, moving on. The next game we'll be looking at is Bottle Shooting Hit Knockdown. So this game, unlike the last one, actually does something original. To put it simply, it's basically Angry Birds meets those knife throwing games from Happy Wheels. So the main goal of the game is to to break all the bottles. And honestly, the game's presented pretty well. The UI is nice, and the game itself is pretty fun. However, it definitely isn't perfect. I'd say the biggest issue with the game is by far the difficulty. To be more specific, the lack thereof. Like, I was pretty much able to beat this entire game without any struggle at all. And I'd say that's probably because the ball is just way too accurate. Basically, the ball will go wherever you aim it. And that's not the only problem with the game either. At one point when I moved on to the next stage, the game just kept loading for all eternity. Also, those stars you see in the levels don't actually matter, because whenever you beat the level, you always get three stars. Nonetheless, the game still has decent progression, giving you new mechanics at a decent rate. Some examples would be moving platforms, saw blades, and physics. Also, unlike Angry Birds, enemies can spawn all around you. And there are various types of bottles, like these red ones that can't be broken by the ball. So you have to find a way to get it onto the ground. In all honesty, the only real similarity between this game and Angry Birds is the use of a slingshot. Besides that, this one is actually pretty original. But again, the accuracy of the ball is still really just a detriment. So yeah, this game isn't too bad. The next game we'll be looking at is Milkman Steve, is that you? How wacky! So Terror asked if I, as the notorious Angry Birds lover that I am, could review a bunch of Angry Birds ripoffs for him. So I thought to myself, you know, as a big PC gamer, what could I find on Steam? So I thought to myself, Angry Zombies. Does this game have reviews? Oh shit, it does. Wait. <laughs> People actually played this game? It's go time! Let's go! I'm. What is this? Easy or hard? I'm not no bitch. Oh my god! It's so loud! Yeah, it's gotta be off. This does not seem that hard. And now it just feels awkward. I hate this game. I just do this. How did that even hit that? How is that hitting all of those? Is he sending shockwaves through the bricks? Yeah, but Angry Birds has, uh, like, other birds and stuff. This is, like, one lifeless skull. <laughs> How am I gonna hit this? Oh, like that. Just skill. Oh! Oh! God! <laughs> this really is hard mode. I'm fucking sweating right now. I'm on the edge of my seat. That one dead hits him. 
Yeah, I'm just a gamer. I just play different. Give me reset. Give me my skull. Give me I soft locked the game. All right, I have to stop playing this game. I just looked at the time. I've been going for 17 minutes, and Terror probably does not want to edit 17 minutes of me playing fucking angry zombies. Uh, overall, uh, I'm going to refund this game and reinvest the money into a CSGO case. So I'd give it a 9 out of 10, personally. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, lactose tolerant Steven. So, uh, anyways, the next game we'll be looking at is Angry Dudes. Okay, so first off, this background music sounds like something you'd see in a 2016 YouTube intro. Unfortunately, you're not able to hear it because I had to mute this entire game's audio because it played several copyrighted songs in the background. So instead, I'm just playing royalty-free dubstep. I'd say it has about the same vibe. So the goal of the game is to throw the Mountain Dew at the Illuminati and the weed. Can you tell this game was released in 2015? And it doesn't help that the game sometimes stops and waits for the little clips to finish playing before moving on. And on a side note, why are they playing in 4 frames per second? Also, before you ask, all this random shit that pops up on the screen is coming from the game, and I'm not adding it. Something really annoying with this game, aside from the outdated memes, is that the enemies rarely ever decide to die. Like, you have to get a direct hit on these guys to kill them. And even then, it's rarely ever that easy. This also applies to the objects and terrain. Sometimes you could break it super easily, and other times, well... Because of this, you're gonna see the retry screen a lot. But besides that, this game's decently fun. There are three worlds with 25 levels each, and there are even different types of projectiles. However, it is to note that all the different types of projectiles are just various different Angry Birds. But even then, this game is decently fleshed out. So if you don't mind wanting to die, feel free to give this game a try. So the last game we'll be looking at is Angry Drunks. So here's Angry Drunks, and the best way I can describe it is an auditory STD. As you might be able to tell, every sound in the entire game is just some guy. And boy oh boy does this get annoying after 4 milliseconds. So luckily for you, you can have background music that doesn't suck. Now would you believe me if I told you this game had extensive lore? Well, it doesn't, but it does have a story. So basically, the homies are celebrating Jim Bob's birthday party when suddenly some ass clowns show up. Then they haul him off to prison for committing several acts of violence against minors. So the goal of the game is to help out your homie by throwing alcohol at officers. All jokes aside, the level progression is actually pretty good. It introduces new elements in basically every level. The way you throw the beer isn't bad either. You basically get to choose the angle as well as how hard you throw it, which allows for a lot more variety in how you go about things. Let's just not mention that Angry Birds does this too. So it's accurate, but not too accurate. And also, the game can get pretty difficult at times. Like this level here, your task is to beat both of the cops on the bikes in only three throws. And the funny thing with the cops on the bikes is that if you hit the bikes, it takes two hits to kill them, but if you hit a direct hit, it's only one. So anyways, yeah, this game's alright, I guess. Oh wow, looks like you made it to the end of the video. Remember to do that funny thing that everyone tells you to do. Also, lately I've been trying to resurrect my Discord server from the grave, so if that sounds like something you might be interested in, then feel free to join. Okay, bye.